how much over unity can you produce right now? Uh, over unity, in the generator, at high pressure level, about 10 times. Yeah. 10 times over unity. 10 times over unity. Even though it's possible more. But I'm afraid to go more with safety. You know, because if you go, for example, in bigger units, much more input, microwave power, excitement, we can reach even one millions of times over here. But can you even reach, imagine millions of times? This bomb, you know, mm. suddenly you produce millions of times more energy, power. You know, we cannot go too far away. You know, this is uh, reasonable over unity. Over unity, we can raise over unity. It's not a problem. But we have to be on safety. Even though 10 times, it's super. 10 times, you use about 1.3 from these 10 times to maintain the system. 1.3. Because, you know, microwave generator use, produce, for example, 100 kilowatts, but it use 125 kilowatts. There are losses. And some moving power losses. So you put 100, but you spent 125 kilowatts. Then there are some losses. I have to convert this energy of very energetic photon, that's a heat. You know, heat into electricity. There are different methods with turbines, you know, turbines cannot produce more than 40%. Or somebody say they, I contacted some company, they claim they have power chips, but something wrong with these power chips. Or some another method, you lose energy, you know. So you, even to 30, 40% of that, you have about 400 kilowatts, 450 kilowatts gain on this generator. Uh, you know, and I, I, I cannot transform the whole energy into electricity. Some part will be heat. Water steam, hot water, or hot air, because all kinds of energy are needed for my house. Hot water, electricity, even though sometimes more hot water, hot air than electricity. So, we produce, I can produce all these three kinds of uh, energy. They are not losses. This heat is not loss, it's energy produced. You can use it, hot water, hot air. Can so, ten times. Ten times. Can you tell me? On how? this level of power and uh, of point of view, safety. Yeah, ten times. Can you tell me, um, in a short sentence, how much power you're putting into the system and how much power you get out of the system? In the, uh, in the generator, I put 100 kilowatts, and output is 1,000, 1 megawatt. This includes, I told you, even more losses. Ball light, excited ball light, it produces 1 megawatt around. About. And this 1 megawatt, some losses, but these losses are, you know, useful. Hot water, hot air, and electricity. So about, I expect, after conversion, I'll have about 100 kilowatts electrical power. And don't forget, uh, we produce also hydrogen. Hydrogen is like ash byproduct. You know, like ash. It's needed for a, a process of uh, recovery recovering this energy into electricity. But hydrogen is not ash at all. It's very useful product. Can be sold or used for I don't believe in hydrogen cars. Hmm. Because it's dangerous. These big bottles, some accident, they'll blow up the car. Or hydrogen fuel cells. Yeah. I worked, I saw hydrogen. You know, hydrogen one hydrogen fuel cell now, one kilowatt. Is three, four thousand dollars one kilowatt. For one car, you have to pay, you know, 30, 40, 50, so 60, no, 250,000 dollars for hydrogen fuel cells, one car. Who will pay that? And this place, then 
you need, of course, uh, many other things, not just hydrogen fuel cells. You need to store this hydrogen in some metals. They are big, they are expensive, they are very heavy. Very and uh, somebody tell, they say, they will be much cheaper with advanced technology. I don't see why, because the only, the only, uh, this, uh, Platinum catalyzer in this process, platinum. Platinum is very expensive metal. And if high production, I mean, high production is impossible but because reserves are not too big in the world. But has high consumption. The price will go up, not down. You know. So I don't think platinum will be so cheap to create very cheap, inexpensive hydrogen cells. And they are not reliable. They all 5,000, 10,000 miles, they claim they can create, and that's it, you have to change them. So, my opinion is that for cars, moving, moving energy consumer, at the beginning, synthetic hydrogen bonds, produce it with quantum energy, and later, we can make, build compact, quantum free energy generator for cars, whatever. So finally, quantum energy will be the only energy source in our planet. 